Yan, happy sabat everyone Lakad kami ngayon pa Riverview Ang kita nyo, nakaporma kami Ito kami sa church ngayon Oh, okay Riverview kasi yung sa naming anak may program doon ay okay bro liyaw na ko na bro ah so hindi ko na tayo lakad lakad ah, kailangan before 8 maka makarating na tayo doon eh so yan kikita kita tayo mamaya doon Ah, isang ka? E, church store Ma church store tayo doon Mga kaibigan So yan, si Nathaniel uh, Mamaya, may presentation sila So Yun uh, Supportaran natin ito Para Ayos Ayos ang dating So ang tagal pa nila Tiga ni lah. Tiga ni. Kau apa kami nang jeep tak pergi tadi kan? Karena biar ayam mak jeep mak pasok tu ni. So kau perlu kan? Maka sekali tayo agak. Karena mak pergi tadi kan? Don. Don mismo. Don mismo sa church sa Riverview. So mak church tour tayo don. At saka Para makita nyo ang uh, Church doon sa Riverview Diyan sa Rizal Iwan ko ba kung malapas pa yan So uh, Brad Iwan ko kung lapas pa yan Ang ganda lang aking Nagkikina uh, <sighs> Ang gal niya eh So, malakad-lakad muna tayo dito at maghanap tayo ng masasakyan para magkapunta tayo doon so kung may pira lang sana tayo tataksi tayo kasi lang hindi, wala eh so okay lang yun okay lang yun so kita-kita tayo mamaya doon God bless yan, nandito na tayo sa Riverview Church Ayan, kita nyo. Ayan yung church. Ayan ang school dyan. So, mamaya-maya kunti. Magkita-kita uh, tayo dyan. Bro. Brother natin. Ayan. Dito na tayo sa church mismo. So, marami na mga panahoy. Ito huh? pala yung ating uh, sister dito. Yung principal. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Okay. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. So, dito tayo sa So, may malalaking camera pala dito yan maghanap tayo ng pwede maapuan yan so, yung mga puro sudyante yung makaupo dito makaupo dito bro, sabaw ayan ko sa likod mo ha
So that's why Elijah stood and he pronounced nga no, magbalik ka mo sa ginoo. This is the message of reconciliation, the Elijah message. The first is reconcile to God and the second one is to be reconciled to our families. So amon ni siya ang effect sa message ni Elijah. It is because sa time ni Elijah, damo-damo, ganyang perversion. The first, per, the, the first practice nga na pervert ang worship sa ginoo. And ang ikaduha na pervert is marriage. Sexual promiscuities is rampant in the time of Jezebel. Tigin na nila, ginapasugta na nila, wala sila nagahalo o ginapakabalaan ang gininstitute sa ginoo. That's why, ang muna ang nakatago sa ila, there is no reconciliation. Letter B, the altar. Kung nakabasa ka mo sa 1 Kings, yes, 1 Kings 18, dito yung makita that there is a showdown sa altar. The showdown between the prophets of Baal and Elijah. Pilagan ni ang uh, prophets ni Baal. Which reaches from east to west. So, uh, I hope, no, uh, I would be able to deliver you this morning just with a conviction. Uh, sometimes, I cannot help but shed a tear whenever I read these words. So, uh, I hope this would not be very long, but uh, if, the sp if the spirit lingers, we must continue. So, the topic is about things which must shortly come to pass. These are not things in the very far future. These are things which must shortly come to pass. According to uh, the scripture reading, the other name of uh, the book of Revelation is actually Apocalypse. Apocalypse chapter 18 verse 1. And after these things, John saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. If you continue with the next verses, this is no longer verse 1, by the way. The chapter says, that that angel which comes down from heaven proclaims these words Babylon the great is fallen is 